Hello everyone, this is DJ from Garshan.net Academy, and in this short tutorial I will show you how to make a movie file out of a render frame sequence. In the previous two tutorials I've shown you how to make a camera fly-through animation and how to composite the frames from multi-layer ESRs to PNG files with post-production touch-ups. So if you haven't watched these, check out the link in the video description or the card above. So let's not waste time, let's start right now. So here we are again in Blender in the default scene. Let's quickly switch to video editing tab. So it's not by default here, but you have to go press this plus here and go to video editing. There you go, you have the default video sequence editor setup. Here you have the timeline. So let's set up uh, the frames to 44 and now press Shift A for adding, or we can use this menu in the header add image or sequence of images. We have to find our composited pictures. Select the first one and with Alt Shift. So first one, Alt Shift is the last one and then you go you have all of the files selected and add image strip. There you go. We have our clip inside the video sequence editor. So it's just a simple camera fly through. If you want the playback to be smooth uh, it's good to set up proxy and timecode. Rebuild proxy and timecode indices, run it, and then Blender's uh, viewport here will be using the proxies if you set up here, for example, a proxy size of 50%. This will use the proxies. Let me show you uh, how it works with the proxies. See, it's much smoother. Still, needs some time to load into the memory. Yeah, but you can see just nicely, nicely moving at at the right frame rate right now. If we use uh, 25 proxy, you can see that it's just a low quality version. Well, 50 is pretty much okay, just to see the movement. Now we just want to render this as a movie file, so you have to go here, set up the output, and let's set up um, the file type that will tell Blender to render the sequence to a movie file. You have different formats of movie files, AVI, JPEG, AVI, RAW, and the most popular probably is the FFmpeg. By default it's uh, encoding set to Matroska, I want to change it to MPEG4. So there are some settings that you can go deep into, uh, quality of the output, maybe let's make it per per perceptually lossless so we have a high quality of the animation. It will, be, it will make a file bigger, so you have to choose between low quality and uh, small file or or you'll just have to invest in a bigger hard drive, man. And let's make sure that the post processing in the output settings is set to sequencer. Compositing won't be necessary, so let's just select the thing that we want to be done with the files. Everything is set up. So let's quickly render this out. Also, rendering an animation. This will just output the file really quick, even quicker than compositing, so you just have to wait a few moments. The video sequence editor goes through all of the frames and outputs them into the mp4 file. That was a short one, so I hope you liked the tutorial and found it useful. As you can see it's pretty easy to make a movie file out of a frame sequence and it's a really good way to work with animations to first render a frame sequence and then put them together into a movie file. This way you don't lose any quality of the individual frames, so I highly advise this kind of workflow. It keeps things organized and easy to go back if you mess something up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button to get notified. See you in the next tutorials and keep blending, keep blending, keep blending, keep blending, keep blending.